Dear Michael, you're a millennial born in New York, attended Yale, or a relative of Hillary Clinton with a name like Beyonce and looks like Rachel Maddow. With all of that, how in the world did you become a conservative? I think that's why. Isn't that why? That's got to be why. Conservatives tend to be a little contrarian. In our culture, a conservative is contrarian. We stand athwart history yelling stop. And if you're willing to weather the slings and arrows of that in our culture, you're certainly contrarian. So I actually do think there is something to that. If you grew up in all these crazy places and you look like Rachel Maddow, why would you become a conservative? That's part of it. I used to fear that if I grew up in the middle of Texas, I'd be a communist or something. But I don't think that's true. Uh, the, the, I, I was born with like hair parted, smoking a cigar, you know, reading the, the Wall Street Journal or something. That is true. I did that from a young age, but I went through a little lefty period when I was in high school. I think a lot of teenagers do that. I went through my atheist phase from 13 to 23 or so, but about 10 years. And, uh, it, it was great to come out of that. You know, I, uh, Bill Whittle has this great idea that like, when you don't know anything, you're a Democrat. And then when you know a little bit, you're a, uh, or when you don't know anything, you're a Republican. When you know a little bit, you're a Democrat. And then when you know more, you become a Republican again. <laughs> I think there is something like that. You kind of go through the fire of it and then you come back out. Uh, part of it is that the left has gone so insane that people who aren't like me to the right of Attila the Hun, people who are like Dave Rubin, have come over to the right as well. Because they sure can't stay on the left. There's no room for them in the Democrat Party. Uh, the I was a conservative before I had any religious views again. Uh, so I don't know that you have to have those religious views, but once you accept the reality of Christianity or Judaism or whatever your theistic religious views are, it's very hard if you follow those ideas to their logical conclusions, it's very hard to remain a, a leftist because the left has totally embraced materialism, has totally embraced a scientistic materialist worldview that precludes any sense of meaning <laughs> and uh, uh, the human soul and sin and grace and redemption. So uh, I, think, I think that will also help bring people back over as well. But as for me, I don't know, I came, I came out puffing a cigar.